Oh, there they are. Hello. You guys actually look kind of cool. A little bit basic and bulky, but not bad. Let's see which one they have to offer here. You. Ah, it's so close. Okay, now that I'm looking at this thing, it got a lot stupider looking. The weird nobuloid on the front is the problem. The rest of it actually looks great. It's just like, I really don't want... I, I want it to look like a Republic a cruiser or something. Oh, you do take damage crashing into asteroids. Good to know. I haven't really messed with that. Anyway. I can't seem to fly this thing properly, but that's okay. We'll get there eventually. There we are. It's funny. We we crash into asteroids and take a ton of damage. Uh, or take a small amount of damage. But uh, the moment we go into super speed mode, they just don't, they're just not even there anymore. Okay, so let's take a look at Final Fantasy XV. Please tell me I can start a new game with you. Already? Ah, nope. One hour left. Okay, so it's it's picking up the pace a little bit. No, it's not. This sucks. Use the other laser. Infinite ammo. Oh, I just use the beam because it's faster. But I guess that is actually not the uh, not the meta. Yeah, so we'll we'll just keep going from um. We're just gonna keep going from uh. Planet to planet, uh, system to system, looking for good freighters. Eventually, we'll find something that we actually like. I don't know when that's going to be, but it'll it'll happen, and it'll be nice. I like the scanner. Let's see if there's anything interesting down here. Eh, looks interesting enough. Looks like an ice planet or something. Where? Oh wow, good landing. I really wish it would actually like uh, kind of automatically land near things. Like if there's a way to truly autopilot between locations. Okay. So let's see. We've got whatever this is. Pair analysis visor. Analyze objects. Is my an analysis visor actually like pretty okay? Okay, I want to say I already had that one. Probably. Okay, uh... Well, that's fine. Yeah, so I'm not sticking around on this planet for long. I've already got this. Where's my ship? Where's my ship before I freeze to death? This place is cold! Okay. And let's keep going. That's cold! It's nice looking, but it's cold. And I'd rather not uh, subject myself to that. Yeah, it doesn't look like my shields are coming back on. That sucks. I do like this whole quick recharge thing. Okay, and it looks like we are totally out of uh, plutonium now. So I'm going to have to go out of my way to get some more. Not on this planet, but definitely another one. Okay, analyze and upload. Discovery. So realistically, not a big fan of most of these. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna upload most most of these that I don't care about. Okay, is this this is the one with dem lady legs? Okay, so we've got the full moon. Okay, so we've got we've got Bootylicious uploaded. And let's rename Dem Lady Legs. Okay, so now we've got Dem Lady Legs, we've got Mm Lady Legs. I'm just gonna throw these up for a bit. Pocket change is nice. Don't think I've scanned too many things on any of these other planets. Eh, 
Enough. Okay, anyway, let's let's keep going for this abandoned building and figure things out. Okay, this game's two updates away from being unrecognizable from the initial release. Sort of. I mean, honestly, the uh, the experience is the exact same, but it is a much smoother and better experience. Okay, what was that? 19 Celsius or negative 19? No, it's negative 65 Celsius. But yeah, the, the developers definitely did actually make leaps and bounds between this and the original launch. Which really makes me think they, they should have totally just pushed off the, uh, the release of this game for like a year or two. They probably had the funding for it. And even if they didn't, they probably could have scrounged something or just like, I don't know. Because like, it's a common thing for Nintendo to delay their releases really hard and be like, we will release it when it's ready and... You know, never before that. And I've always respected that decision. Even if I want, like, Nintendo shit. Ah, shit. Okay, this is going to kill me fast. I'm trying to get back up to my ship. God damn it, why do I always land on the shittiest spots? Come on, land. Okay, there we go. Would have called them Thunder Thighs. Yeah, probably. Oh, this sucks. Where the fuck's the door? Oh, here it is. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Oh. Never mind. This is one of the freaky alien ones. Okay. They were receiving death threats. Huh. That sucks. God damn it, games industry. Why you ruin things? Okay, so we get new technology. Shield Boost Sigma. Hey, that's useful. But yes, this place is cold as shit and I hate... I do not like being here. Oh, hey, plutonium. That'll help. Uh, let's see, is there anything else in here? We already got that one. We need more thamium. No surprise. I've kind of burnt through a lot of my fuel supplies. I really wish I could fuel everything with thamium. But I don't think that's, uh, I don't think that's in the cards. Luckily this will refuel at least some of my plutonium so I can take back off. I just realized we are completely out of it. Uh, let's see, deep space is colder. So the thing about deep space is there's actually no conductivity so you don't freeze very fast. Uh, when you're out in space, as long as you've got a good spacesuit to keep you from exploding, uh, you actually freeze much faster on a planet. Uh, learned that one from Dead Space, of all things. Thought it was actually kind of cool. Oh. I don't remember my... Oh, right, I re recharged everything along the way. Okay, so this, this place sucks. Shit, did I... Did I get what I needed? To make a warp cell? No, we need heridium. Do we want to do it here? No, fuck this planet. Let's go back to one of the non-crappy planets that will get me killed. Let's see, my pulse engines are charged. Where is Final Fantasy 15? Uh, it's installing. Which sucks. Okay, do we go for Mudwidges? Sure, why not? Actually, yeah, it's got Heridium on it. That's a good sign. <laughs> we actually got iron from crashing into an asteroid. Oh, it does look like our shields do, um, do charge. It's just, they don't charge very fast at all. Okay, let's... Every time I get into a warp, we check the status on Final Fantasy XV. Unfortunately, I think it's still quite a ways away. It's saying 75 minutes, but honestly, it's been totally variable. Uh, in my experience, but yeah, chances are we're not going to be playing Final Fantasy XV till 2 a.m. my time. Which sucks, because I'm only going to be able to play like an hour. <sighs> I'll probably just play more. 
Let's see, you don't explode in space, you just die of oxygen deprivation, deprivation or freezing to death. You don't explode. Ah, uh, you totally explode. At least parts of you do. Ah, uh, because humans are not meant for that pressure. Well, this looks like kind of an okay place. Okay. Yeah, maybe not. It's a little bit on the mushroomy side. Anyway, let's, uh, let's hit the scanner, see if I find anything interesting. Oh, never mind. We found what we needed. We'll start with that, and then I'll see if I can get some plutonium while we're out here. I think I've got two more launches. We need plutonium, we need carbon, we definitely need iridium. Okay. Please, planet, planet, don't suck nearly as much as the last one did. It's got very late radiation. I can make that work. I really do hope they, at some point, sit down and improve the, uh... The... The clouds in this game, specifically. Like, it was... Okay, yeah, it's... it's ow, fuck. Fuck you. Uh... Like... It's raining right now, and I've just got this kind of awkward light cloud cover. And I feel like that's not quite how it should be. Like, I, I, I feel like uh, the clouds should actually look like clouds. Like, just use pictures or something. I'm not gonna care. Fake it if you have to. Just don't give me this, like, light shit and be like, it's raining. No. I don't know. Okay, your blood will boil and your eyes would implode because of the air pressure. I'd have to look it up. Look for a system with six planets. Yeah, that that wouldn't that actually a a planet a system with with uh, six planets might not be a bad idea. Uh, just for for future reference, so I can um put a base on it. Realistically, I'd like to put my base on like not a garbage planet. Yeah, let's do carbon. I don't know what it is about these suckers, but I hate them. At least they die fast. Then again, I really need to use the grenades more often. The grenades are awesome. Probably my my better um Probably my best bet for combat. Maybe even better than using like a going for like any kind of railgun setup here. Okay. Yeah, I don't have to worry about the toxic protection too much. Yeah, so I'm just gonna load up as mu on as much uh, iridium as I can. We're always gonna need more of it. Uh, let's see if I can make... Right, antimatter. We need iridium, which I just put away. Whoops. I'll have to come back. I'll have to go out of my way for some plutonium, though. We need it if we, w if we want to launch. Though I might actually be able to fuel my thrusters with uh, power cells, which I think I can make with carbon. I wasn't really paying attention to that bit, but that might not actually be a bad idea. Game needs a Death Star for mining resources. That'd be hilarious. Like it would be neat if you could actually like slowly build up to like ridiculous shit like that. Just because, sadly, right now the end game is kind of base building, which I haven't really messed with, and. Um, Kind of base building and kind of some other things. Okay, let's send a ping out. Do we have any uh, plutonium nearby? We do. Stroke of luck. I definitely need it. I should probably keep my eyes up for some more crashed ships. Unfortunately, I don't really have an easy way of finding them in this mess. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, so I'll, I'll just gather some resources and we'll probably, uh, probably actually explore this planet. Toxic's a bit of a pain, but honestly, it doesn't really slow me down too much. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I got some zinc over here. I guess I'll go for the zinc. Okay, yeah, launch thrusters only accept plutonium. Never mind, then! Looks like I'm stuck there. Oh, that's okay. That's that's a decent amount of zinc. 
Realistically, I'll probably spend, uh, get most of my zinc from purchases, but still. Let's see. Is the flying still locked to a set minimum? Yes, however, there's, um... Uh... Let's see. It's locked to a set minimum. However, uh, the benefit is uh, there's a mod that you can download that gets rid of said set minimum. The only uh, the only caveat is it doesn't uh, the mod doesn't obviously doesn't work on consoles. So if you've been playing on PS4, I actually don't even know if this game is for Xbox One. Come to think of it, I didn't really look into that. Oh, we got some more zinc. Oh, I'm gonna pop into my ship for a second. Okay. Um. I guess let's make warp fuel if I can. So we need more electron vapor. Do I not have any? Or... No, we have... We have two antimatter. The issue is... We have to end up matter. The issue is we don't have any thamium. It's actually really easy to get my hands on. Can I make, um... Oh, that's why we ran into plutonium so fast. Electron vapor is a hog. So it needs, it needs more plutonium. At least I can make a decent amount of antimatter here. Okay, so we need a little bit more plutonium and a little bit more zinc, and we're good to go. Don't need more dite right now. You're right, but I can sell it. Okay, I spotted some uh, I spotted some zinc nearby, right? Yes. Oh, life support power low. That's inconvenient. Uh, oh. I got these. Let's see if I can find some more plutonium around here. I don't know what my chip. Chances of that are, but still, worth a shot. Uh, I got thamium and zinc. Oh, looks like we've got small, small clusters of plutonium all over the place. It's enough, but I'd like a hell of a lot more. Oh, do we, do we dare? No, I don't see any plutonium hanging out down there. So I think we'll leave it alone. Ooh, we got some kind of box, though. Box might be good. Usually not. Ah, box is good. Box is covered in goodies. Okay, do we have anything else around here? Oh, shit, we've got another one of you suckers. You don't need more dite right now. But I'll keep it, just because I can sell it. Let's keep picking up zinc for at least a little while. It's pretty close by, and I'm hoping I can find at least one or two more... Um, I'm hoping I can find at least one or two more plutonium deposits, but it looks like I'm kind of out of luck there. Oh, that's fine. I'll just go back. Yeah, you can see the heridium deposit as it was in the distance. I can see through time, I guess. It's not actually how it works. Hup, no, this might hurt. Nope, never mind, not gonna hurt. Okay, that could have gone worse. So I might as well scan these things as I go by. I really wish I could actually scan shit. Oh, come on. Fuck it. Thank God for grenades. Or whatever patron deity and or creature you wish to subscribe to. Mine's YouTube. Oh shit, right. I've got a meeting with a YouTube lady tomorrow. Daystream would be hard. Oh well. Either way. I think we've got all the shit we need. Oh, uh, we don't wanna we don't wanna leave quite yet. Uh we're gonna we're gonna make one more electron vapor. We're gonna make one more antimatter, we're gonna store it. Might as well have a stack of antimatter. Do we have shield boost sigma? Might as well do it, it's cheap. Might as well, might as well load up on the the shields, seeing as that's a passive increase to health. 
Let's see, what else do we have? Stamina increase and aquatic membrane. I get the stamina increase for the time being, too. I don't want to give up on my inventory space, and I really do kind of hate the fact that it takes up inventory space, but whatever. Okay. This object. Uh, let's see, what do you have? We might as well explore while we're here. Okay, we got an op center. I... I do really wish there was, like, a, just a scan random. Or, like, a ping for nearby things. I don't like the, uh... I don't like the, uh... The fact that, like... I don't know. Oh, wow, that's a drop pod, like, directly there. I don't think I'm even gonna fly for it. Uh... Actually, you know what? I think I'll just leave it there for the time being. No sense rebuilding it. Especially if it's just a short jaunt over to the other one. Okay. And let me guess. Running? It's totally running. Yep, it's running. Final Fantasy, why did you have to ruin tonight? You're lame. Okay. Running parallel along a mountain makes me feel like Skyrim. It's not perfect, but it'll do. At least I can do the punch thing. Maybe I maybe I shouldn't have done done the whole like I can walk it. It's not that it matters, it's mostly just kind of mildly inconvenient. At least there's sprinting. That stamina increase, by the way, has made a significant di difference in terms of, like, I bounced off of that animal. Here we go. Okay, Nepali wetlands, and go from here. Okay. So what do we got on these? Luckily, we're getting... We're getting goodies, like, I'm slowly making money for this. Not that it really matters, but it's it's at least funding the, uh... It's funding the up exosuit upgrades, awkwardly. And, yeah, we already got that one. Okay, well, at least this time we don't have to run awkwardly up sort of a cliff. That's nice. I can't wait until we get the jetpack upgrades, now that I'm thinking about it. Hmm, I can feed one of these creatures. I don't think I'm going to. Ooh. Plutonium. This is what I was looking for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What else we got around here? Zinc. Thamium. I guess we do need the Thamium. Might as well grab it while we're here. Though, honestly, I can get Thamium pretty easily in space. So the desire of getting more of it here. Not quite yet. Did I get a freight? Nope. Not yet. I'm I'm being really picky. I've got 10 million credits. Wow. Okay. This is a problem. I'll make it before we die. But this storm is going to give me problems. Yeah, this is this is actually cutting it close just a little bit. Uh, let's see. Uh, once they have the join friends option. I really hope they do actually add the join friends option. I really freaking would love like I would I would really love to do um let's see. I I would really love to do like a a playthrough of this with my friends. Like, if we could all pile into somebody's, uh, somebody's freighter, and, like, go from planet to planet doing kind of whatever. You goddamn little, little bitch creatures. N they're not nice. Okay, anyway, drop pod. Let's see. And it looks like, I think it's vaguely in the same direction as the other one. Hey, storm's done. 
rid of that sucker. Get out of here. Really wish it was easier to get the navigate the menu sometimes in this game, but that's okay. Okay, so we've got these two in completely different directions. Well, not completely. Four minutes, ten seconds, and two minutes. Okay, drop pod it is. Well, we need the inventory space one way or another. And it's really easy to get to and from, which I really appreciate. It's just going to be a huge hole in my wallet as we progress through this. But that'll be okay. But yeah, no, I, uh, originally, uh, Keith, myself, and kind of Birdcatcher were all discussing playing, um, uh, there's, like, weird clattering, creaking noise coming coming from outside my ship. I do not like that. It's very disconcerting. This is probably a good location. I think I've got more than enough uh, plutonium here to charge this. Nope. I've got a small amount of plutonium. I guess I have been using it. Pretty pell-mell. Okay, let's see, let's see if we can get... Uh, any more here? The answer is yes, actually. Three stacks of it. That's good stuff. That's at least a launch. I think it's either 25 or 50. Okay, do we have anything here? I guess we got that. Nothing found, though. Oh, that's okay. I just want to be able to teleport to him from my base. Let's see. If you watch the trailer... We'll probably make a join friends option. Yeah. Yeah. I don't I don't know what their exact plan is here with everything. What the hell where is this plutonium? Oh, it's probably on the other side of that hill. Inside or down below or something. That Don't think I'm gonna bother. We'll just keep going. I'll I'll find it. I'll go looking when we're near that base. We've got enough for at least a couple more jumps. How much do we have? Not much. Oh, you can right-click to get out of those menus. That's awesome. Flying animals. There are flying animals. I'm not going to bother scanning them, though. Mainly because I'm lazy. Is there base building now? Yep. I haven't really bothered with it yet, just because I want to find a good planet. Um... Like, I, I want to find a good planet to, to sit down and mess with. Uh, I, I don't want to just, like, pick the first one, because that'd be lame. Ooh, interesting question. Are there any underground uh, bases? Because that would be cool. Or, not underground, underwater bases. Actually, are there any underground ones? We can see if we can dig a tunnel underneath it and dig down into the ground. It's very unlikely, but it would be cool. Also, weird flying disc rock things. Question mark? Yes. Still question mark. Yeah... I I kind of want to replace this ship soon. Uh, we should see if I can find a crashed one or something. Um, it makes weird clattering noises as I fly, and it just it feels weird. Okay, so the tox ain't so bad. It looks like we got some more plutonium here, which is good. So we just need more of that. We might be able to get some more on the inside, too. I do kind of hope with the amount of money that uh, that they picked up pseudo-fraudulently. Ooh, actually, those are kind of neat-looking flying creatures. I mean, honestly, they're just flying. Oh, God, never mind. They're not so neat. They've got weird leech faces. Freaking hate leech faces. Surprised it took him so long for the... Uh the drones to figure out where I was. Yeah, we definitely need to get some of the beam upgrades. I've been lazy because we haven't been fighting things, but it would be nice if I could, like, one-shot a couple of these suckers. Uh, let's see. Luckily, they're kind of completely non-threatening at this point. The higher-level stuff... Uh, let's see. It's the issue of base building. It limits your travel. Yep. Uh, that's why I haven't really messed with it yet. I I will. I will get to the point where... Um, I, will, I will get to the point where I've got like a more permanent base that I can work on. But right now, it's I, I'm 
I'm free floating when we when we get to that point. Ooh, looks like we got a thing down down below. Let's get through this door the rest of the way though. There we go. Okay. Can I get through this door? Atlas Pass V2. God, I hate that part. Well, one way or another. Looks like we're past this point. Should probably see if I can turn down the, uh... See if I can fix this before we do anything. Let's see. I've not found anywhere to set a ba base up yet. I guess I'm getting unlucky. Press Z, and you can put up a beacon. Okay. Let me make up a few words. Work out that it was being worked on here. I can restart the re workflow and restart operations. So what do we think? Freighter, drop pod, or uh... Sadly, there's like no, there's no clues or anything like that. Oh, that one had money on it. Well, sadly, I don't know the word. This is Corvax? No, it's Viking. Yeah, I've not done anything with the Viking. Oh, you got a one and three. It's freighter? Let's try freighter. Yeah, looks like it's freighter. Thank you, Rathlon. And we learned Advanced Cooling Sigma, which is not exactly the most useful, but we learned it anyway. Um, Question. Can I craft warp cells? Ah, we need a lot more Thamium, though. Okay, let's just move everything over that we can. Oh, we've done that. Standing with the Viking has increased. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, actually, why don't we, why don't we make, uh, one of these? Uh, oh, right. Uh, for the person wondering about finding a base and stuff, I press Z to pull up this menu, press this, this is how we get the signal booster, and, um, that's, if you want to find a habitable base, you just click habitable base. I don't care right now because it's not super, uh, it's not super useful or important for me right now. I'm mostly just hitting up these bases. I just, I, I, I like the signal booster, but I really wish it would tell me about other things, because there's a lot of things other than just colonial outposts to find along the way here. Okay. All right, let's get rid of that. You can also pick it back up again and leave whenever you want. You can make an off-world trading console now? That's awesome. Yeah, I haven't I haven't messed with my base yet cuz I can't teleport to it. Uh I and I don't want to do base building until I can start exploring because I'm going to be real pissed if I find find out my base sucks. Uh or well, it's not that my base would suck. Uh I I want to build my base on a really nice planet. Like a par a paradise type planet or something, and I don't want to I don't want to like set down really until I've actually gotten to that point. Did I already did I already pick it up? Oh, I see platinum. Looks like there's a bunch of plutonium in the area, which is great. Oh, god damn it! Not another one of you guys. We should probably <laughs> he just t posed off into the future. 